The Jacksonville Jaguars got fucking obliterated. They got absolutely plowed against the Buffalo Bills. Never at one point in time that game did anybody ever think that the Bills weren't going to win. From the first couple of drives, the first quarter of the game, you knew, yeah, Bills are going to dominate. Yeah, Bills are probably going to win this game. Yeah, the Jaguars look like absolute fucking garbage. And that's what happened, folks. The Jaguars looked like complete and utter dog shit in this game. They didn't show any sort of resistance, any sort of fight, any sort of will. You know, they just looked like a losing football team. And... I mean, you could point the fingers at the players and all. Oh, they didn't give, you know, enough effort. They looked bad. The defense looked, you know, horrible. They were lazy, sloppy, low-effort plays. You know, they weren't even trying to stop them at certain points in the game. They looked defeated. The body language is bad. You know, the morale's at an all-time low. You can make all those excuses. But coaching has a factor in this. Doug Peterson is simply not getting these players ready to play. Because why? if they were so ready to play the, the, the Buffalo Bills tonight... Why the fuck were they smoked? Why were they humiliated? So, Doug Peterson, there's a really solid chance he is going to be fired in a couple of weeks. I think if this team starts 0-5, 0-6, he will be gone. Um, and that would probably be the right decision because he had one good year with this Jacksonville team. And, you know, everything is falling apart ever since. Now they're off to a, you know, embarrassingly bad 0-3 start. Their offense has been one of the worst in the National Football League. Trevor Lawrence does not look like an NFL quarterback right now. I mean, he looks lost in the pocket. He panics under pressure. He's, you know, he's just making bad decisions. Um, he's not turning the, like the football over at an egregious rate, but still, you know, he's been inaccurate and spotty on his throws. And honestly, the ownership of this team um, needs to evaluate every single person in the front office because this is honestly getting embarrassing. This front office is fucking horrible because once again, you can talk about players all you want, but you gotta talk about coaches. You gotta, you know, talk about executives. You gotta talk about all the higher ups in the organization because this is a failure, not only just on the players. I know they're playing bad. I know there's no effort, but when it comes to the managerial sort of part of the game and the executive part of the game, these motherfuckers, I don't know if they have a clue what they're doing. I really don't know if they know what the fuck they're doing. I mean, this, it's like, this is really, really fucking bad. The the Khan family, Sean Khan and Tony Khan. Tony Khan is a fucking idiot. I mean, this guy is a moron. He's a clown. This guy cares more about a shitty fucking wrestling promotion that gets no fucking viewers. Tony Khan, you are a little scar-faced, cokehead, fucking midget! And you suck as an executive. You need to resign. You need to you need to go. I mean, it's just it's embarrassing. This guy is playing fucking make-believe fucking wrestling in the draft room. Trying to he's trying to fucking convince everyone he's got a fucking neck brace, his neck is hurt because him. I mean, it's ridiculous. And I'm a wrestling fan. AEW is garbage, by the way. Worst fucking wrestling promotion on the face of the planet. Tony Khan is a cokehead scarface midget. And he is one of the many problems, one of the many higher-ups who have no idea how to evaluate, you know, coaches, evaluate their staff, and evaluate talent. Because this team is never ready to play on Sundays. And they're never ready to play on prime time. What other excuse could there be? I know, once again, the players have been fucking horrible. And you can't, you know, you can't give them any sort of benefit of the doubt. They're just as big a part of the problem as the front office, the coaching you know, in the higher-ups, the, the ownership of the Jaguars franchise itself. But at the end of the day, it's it's a team effort when it comes to this team being fucking horrible. I mean, they have shown no signs of competence this whole season. Offense, sputtering, defense, sputtering, coaching, terrible, absolutely horrible. And what are the higher-ups doing? Nothing. They don't care. Complacency. Complacency is the worst thing for a football team, especially when that said football team is one of the most historically garbage franchises in the history of the National fucking Football League. So what are we doing here, Jacksonville? That is the main question that I am going to ask to you. I am going to ask to the ownership of the Jacksonville Jaguars. What the fuck are we doing? Because what we're doing doesn't fucking work. And I'm no Jacksonville fan. Um, fucking, I don't have any sort of, you know, allegiance to Jacksonville. I don't have any sort of fan, you know, I'm not a fan of Jacksonville. You know, um, I don't have any really players I root for on the fucking team. I don't have a, I'm not a fan of any fucking team. I just watch the NFL and I love the sport of football. But I feel bad for these fans because Jacksonville has some pretty loyal fans. 
A lot of people say, oh, they don't have any fans. They have fans. I've seen that. And they have a, a pretty loyal fan base. This, this is a team that, that has a loyal fan base that has been through hell for God knows how long since this franchise was birthed. And you're giving them a shit product every single year. And, and you make you know bad changes in the front office and sometimes even refuse to make changes in the front office. And it gets worse and worse as time goes on because it makes you look even more incompetent. So this video is more directed towards, once again, the ownership group and the staff and the, the higher ups in the Jacksonville organization and coaching in the, in the, in the Jacksonville organization. Because yes, players not ready to play on Sundays, not ready to play on prime time. Garbage, low effort, lazy, humiliating performances, bad play all around from every unit on the field. I understand it completely. They got molly whopped, they got fucking their cheeks clapped on national TV. But at the end of the day, I mean, you've got to look at yourself in the mirror if you're the organization and say, we have problems within this team and they need to be fixed. And it comes with coaching, it comes with staff, it comes with everything like that. And there's no shying away from it. You can't just say, oh, there's no problem here, guys. But we'll wait for next week. Let's go, go Jags, Duval. You can't just do that. Because then the fans catch on the fact that you're ignoring all the problems within the team itself. And they get angry and they don't buy tickets. They don't show up to games. You get low, you get low attendance. Your games are constantly low rated on TV. You know, social media engagement is at an all time low. People are laughing at you. You're being clowned and nobody cares about you. And you become an irrelevant doormat fucking franchise. The last thing that these fans want is this for, for the Jack to once again become a classic cream puff franchise, a laughing stock of the NFL. And that's what they're slowly becoming again because ownership doesn't have the balls to make big fucking moves and big decisions when it matters. Doug Peterson, you give him a two game leash. If you lose two more games in a row, he's gone. And that's how it's gotta be. And there's other people that must be fired too. You've gotta fire half these motherfuckers because you won't see any sort of progress or any sort of change if you don't make the call, make the big decision to get these people out of your fucking front office because they're incompetent fucking morons. And I really don't have anything else to say in this video because Jacksonville is just, their fans are suffering and they're being laughed at, you know, there's people clowning on them. It's embarrassing. It is fucking embarrassing. This is literally a joke. This franchise has become nothing more than a joke because the ownership group does not care about the fans and they do not care about the team. Thank you all for watching. This has been Mr. Truth and this was nothing but the truth.